G8, here we are again going to a busy Easter period starting with Solly Moors on home soil tomorrow. What's the situation? Is it just a case of you've been asked to take the team again? Yeah, let, let's be honest, Adam. It, it's not ideal that I'm sitting here. Okay, we, but it's, I, I need to stress it's really, really important that the club get the next appointment right. And if that takes a little bit longer than what you think it should, um, then it, I think it's worth it in the long run. You know, it's not ideal. I'm not a football manager, but I'm sitting here and I have a responsibility and I'll, I'll prepare the team the best way we can. And we, yeah, we've got some two very tough games coming up, uh, but the players have uh, yeah, adapted to that and we're working towards getting a result out of these, these games this weekend. On the back of last week's, uh, result at Yeovil, how the players reacted in training? It's sort of been more the same in terms of the attitude in training. You can't really fault it, really. No, we in in training we're looking okay, and uh, that, that that's not the issue. The issue we've got is that we we're going behind in games, and we are not being competitive. And it's it's not until we're behind and we can't recover in the games that we suddenly realise what we should be doing and start doing it. But in training, I can't fault the effort of the players in training, and everybody and everybody's been great with me. I'm getting lots of advice from outside the game. I can't get to my age and not get uh, lots of good contacts in the game. I'm being phoned every every day by people that that want to help. And uh, the senior players, Liam Daly, Anthony Wordsworth, they've taken on the role of player coaches for me. And they're helping me with set plays. They're helping me with shape and formation. And yeah, we're approaching this game in the most professional way we can at the moment. Yeah, you said in the first answer, the whole situation isn't ideal, but everyone's pulling together and cracking on with it. It's not ideal, and everybody knows it's not ideal, but I have a responsibility here. I've been asked to, to do the best I can in the position, and that's what I'll do. And, yeah, the players can't be any more helpful. And, yeah, we're, we're going to really give it a go tomorrow. We really are. We've spoken about, I guess, all season, about slow starts have really been our Achilles yeah. Hill. How, it seems like a broken record. How important is it that we try our very best to eradicate that? Because... It's what's tripping us up ultimately. Yeah, it's at Yeovil second half. I thought we were okay. Don't, don't get me wrong; I wasn't happy with it, but I think we were okay second half. And if we'd played like that throughout the whole game, we might have been okay. But this week, we've looked at every single player's responsibility from the moment that that whistle goes to start the game. What they need to do, and we we need to be more disciplined, more organised. And the most important thing this week we've been working on is what we do when we're not in possession. Because let's be honest, we don't get a lot of possession. It's what we do when we haven't got possession, which is going to be really, really important tomorrow. When we've got the ball going forward, we've got the ability in the team to hurt people. We've shown that. But you know, and we also finish games quite strongly. The one thing I can say is the fitness of this squad isn't what I'm concerned about because we do finish games strong. It's what we do in that first half, as you quite rightly said, and I know the supporters are saying it as well. We, do, we seem to come out of the blocks really, really slow. So that's what we've worked on this week. That isn't because players don't know what they've got to do. It's just that they're not doing it. So everybody knows their responsibilities, and that's what we're going to try and address tomorrow. Just lastly, what are we expecting from Solihull? Uh, I assume watch the game the other night. Yes. A good result for them under new management for the rest of this season by the looks of it. What we expect from the Moors? A very, very good team. And on their day, Solihull can beat any team in this division. Let's not be... Yeah, they, they are that good. Um, but we've looked at them. We watched them against Wealdstone and they had a good 3-0 win. They that they play in a certain way and they play in a way that we've been we're now setting up to try and combat that and hopefully that will give us a chance then to introduce some of our flair players so that we can give them a go as well i i want solihull to be looking at us thinking what can they do to contain us we haven't given them a lot of evidence on that so if we get it right tomorrow, then yeah, well, I'm looking for an improvement. I'm looking for an improvement in work rate. I'm looking for an improvement in attitude. And I'm looking for an improvement in the, when we haven't got the ball. We need to be disciplined. We need to get back into shape early. And we need to be disciplined.